you should trust your biocop. When you're doing a case where there's no posterior stop, that means you know, we don't have a tooth back there to hold our jaws from going too far in our buckle bite. I would highly suggest that you at least take a biocopy folder. You need to trust the biocopy folder because what happens? So what happens is, you know, once you've prepared the teeth, it's very easy for the patient to close through their maximum intercrustation whenever you have them close for you to um, get their buckle bite. That's right. And so what happens, you know, is when you're doing biocopy, I mean, trust your biocopy because this is a perfect example. Um, when we turn our biocopy uh, model on, mm -hmm. which shows us our speckle, which is what we need uh, to get rid of here, um, and the only tool that you use for that is your remove tool. So I'm going to go ahead and select the remove tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, get rid of our speckle here. And as you see here, the color and, you know, the speckle that we're seeing is all going away. Um, but what you're going to see here in a second, once I get rid of all this um, on both 14 and number 15, and so we're assuming this was their preoperative condition. So this is where they were prior to, you know, when they came into the office, this is what they had. So you remove that, and we feel confident when we do that that our restorations are going to go in with no adjusting, if any. And if we have to do any, I usually have went crazy with my um, <laughs> state and glaze. Yeah. So as we turn off our um, biocopy model, what you're going to see is you're going to look at this and you're going to feel like you need to adjust that. Yeah, it looks like a big lateral interference. Right. I mean, if, if this was articulating paper, because that's what our brain is thinking, mm -hmm. like this is the articulation of it. You know, we want to adjust all of this back. But you, if you trust your biocopy, th those two crowns have been there for years and years and yep. years. You did discover the lateral interference years ago. Mm -hmm. And so we know that when they're going side to side, forward and backward, that that's going to be okay. But in this particular situation, it feels like we have to push it down. Right. So, and I mean, just trust that, you know, you have just put them back to where they were before you touch them when they come yeah. in. What they have worked out years ago with this gold crown he's got on number 15. And, you know, as soon as you see that, you think you need to adjust it. But what's going to happen as soon as you touch that yeah. and you take that down, now they're going to be out of occlusion. You know, an argument to this would be, well, do your buckle bite before you cut off the crown. Mm -hmm. So then that way they can't get through their maximum intercuspation position. Mm -hmm. I completely agree. Right. But what happens is you have to take the buckle bite farther mesially mm -hmm. away from those teeth. What if Sarek just slightly... Um, shrink wrap those teeth a little bit off mm -hmm. because you're so much farther forward the error could be so much farther back and uh, it's going to be much larger yeah so there the could be an error the farther back mm -hmm. you go the farther distally you go so uh, that's that's a better way to go mm -hmm. but all it takes is a couple of minutes while you're waiting for anesthetic to take the biocopy mm -hmm. folder their pre-operative condition and i right. know everyone has seen when you ask your patient to close what happens you know they're they're they barely close, you know, or they close over to the side. Because <laughs> they're or, trying to help you. Right, yeah. And so this kind of helps eliminate a lot of errors that could happen, mm -hmm. you know, during those moments. Yeah, and so the the preoperative condition, it never lies. It's It's been like that mm -hmm. for years, and so you have to trust it. Now, a lot of people will say, well, I don't know how, how to do that. So what you do in the um, administration phase, you can set that up as biocopy or buckle bite biogeneric. But if you do that in the acquisition phase, you have to add the catalog for it. So although this case has already been completed, you'll see that we've added a catalog here. Mm -hmm. So uh, it'll say biocopy uh, upper right here. So when you get to this acquisition stage, all you have to do is go over to this icon, which is this one right here. Move, move your yeah. head. Uh, mm -hmm. This icon right here and add the catalog all while you're waiting for anesthetic. Trust your biocopy when you're doing multiple posterior units, especially if you've removed that posterior side. Clicks are the best because they go clicky be clack right here. He's always wanted to be a part of the click. And you know Finally. the best.
I'm finally in the click. In his 40s. He made <laughs> finally it. made he it made into it. the click. But you know, when you put these things on, boom, I'm ready to go. And he looks smart, like he knows what he's talking about. That's right. And then you just unclick them and put them right into place just like that. And you can stack them where as many as you want to. Sometimes he has two pairs of loops and two pairs of clips. And I trade out colors yeah. with my friends. Outfit. Mm -hmm. <laughs>